Hey guys, Prepper Nurse One here. Okay, first of all, I want to thank everybody um, for their advice, their tips on how to um, troubleshoot this problem. And uh, I really, truly appreciate it. I mean, it's, uh, you know, that's when I keep telling everybody we're a big community and we all got to work together, that's what I mean. You know what I mean? I didn't know what even to start, where to look at, what the problem was. But, um, so, you know, everybody said to try different things. I tried different things. And um, what I'm going to show you was what what was going on. As I'm checking all the wires, all right, I was checking the voltage on the panels. And I'm getting, like, um, even though it says 37.5 uh, optimal, um, I was getting right about uh, 33 and a half um, per panel, so that's not I'm not complaining about that at all But so anyway, so what I noticed was this wire here, okay? was The in between was between one of these wires and it was getting pulled on because this is obviously heavier and it was pulling on it and what happened was when I got them apart and readjusted this now all of a sudden I'm getting power and I think what it was was um, it was just the uh, the pressure of the weight in between that wire was causing the problem and that's why it was causing it to short out so that I was not getting um, a charge with my uh, batteries here so let me uh, actually I'll turn this on a second Okay, so now you can see I'm getting a charge from the panels and it's saying that the batteries are good and the batteries are actually up to 12 too right at the moment. They were down to 12. So, um, really happy to uh, find out what was going on and uh, like I said, it was, uh, it was a matter just like what you guys said was troubleshooting. Um, I completely, what I did is I had disconnected the charge controller and you know let, let it sit for probably 20 minutes and um, when I did that you know and then put it back together it was no nothing was happening and so you know I could not figure out what the issue was I checked the wire alright I mean I went over every inch of the wire no breaks no nothing okay now I know I need to put that wire in a conduit and get it buried underground but what I wanted to wait for is when I get my building I'll disconnect it from there, move this out of the way so that they can come in and put my building in here, okay? And then um, I'll work from this way over to the building. So it'll be a lot shorter distance and I won't be losing as much um, power, you know, by going that way. So um, I'm actually really, really happy um, that I figured this out because, like I said, I am no expert at anything. And again, thank you all so, so much for your help. Um, we figured it out, and thank goodness the charge controller wasn't bad because I really didn't want to have to pay out more money for another charge controller. Um, you know, so we're good. Uh, back up and running. And uh, like I said, once again, guys, I really, truly appreciate all the help. Um, and that's, again, like I've said a million, million times, that's what part of being a community is. We, Even though we are all living in different parts of the country and world, okay we are still one big community so um this is awesome um i appreciate everything believe me i do because you know we all have to work in this together and um but yeah troubleshooting it and getting getting figured out um that's cool it makes me feel good you know what i mean that i like actually figured it out you know with advice but uh that i was the one went hey wait a minute look at this might be here a problem and we got it squared away so real real pleased um, we're back up and I'm going to leave the generator run for a little while, let the batteries get a chance to really get a nice charge back up on them because I was like not liking where they were at. Um, and so, but it'll all come together, you know, but again, thank you so much. Um, today is Sunday and I will talk to you guys later. All right. Prepper Nurse 1-0.